What's up, fellow comic book fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, we have another fantastic comic book or horror comic book magazine, as we like to call it, offering for you today. Vampirella. Issue 65. Guys, these Vampirella comic books have gotten such a huge um, positive feedback here at the MIB Master Toy Museum channel. And uh, we just, we, we want to keep the good vibes rolling with you guys. Um, a lot of of our, our comic book subscribers and our just subscribers and viewership has really has been asking about um, Vampirella and if we would be doing more Vampirella videos. Um, so we aim to please and here she is. Um, and more fantastic uh, stories and adventures with Vampirella and the strange and the macabre. This the artwork, Jose Gonzalez, um, and a few other fantastic uh, artists. It's just they they really do a fantastic job uh, with with the Vampirella issues. Growing up in the nineteen seventies um, was a fantastic time, uh, definitely to be a kid. Uh, comic books were at an all-time high of popularity and creativity. Marvel, DC. Uh, but you had to warn comic comics as well. And Vampirella was one of my absolute favorites to read. More so than the DC and... Marvel issues books because of the uniqueness and the you know these big beautiful comic book magazines as I we call them and you got the story in one shot you didn't have to wait a month like here you have the Mad King of Draculon um, so you're gonna see Vaporella um Deal with this the storyline. You're gonna see her go through the trials and tribulations of the story, but you're gonna see her um, victorious or whatever. But you're gonna see you're gonna see the entire story, and that was the cool part about these big comic horror magazines. You could solve the mysteries. And not have to wait a month to get another issue. And I think that's, you know, that, that was the cool part about it. The Vampirella has always been uh, one of my favorites. Um, beautiful and yet very deadly. Um, Vampirella um, checked all those boxes and vulnerable at times. Um, that's another thing that really made the Vampirella character um, so appealing. I mean, she was very human not to be human, if that makes any sense, guys. Human enough.
But make no mistake, guys, Vampirella was what she was. She was still a vampire. Guys, what do you think of our Vampirella issue? Number 65. Um, do you remember the, the this issue? Do you have any Vampirella horror comic magazines in your collection? Um, we're getting more and more and more Vampirella um, books in, into our our comic book collection here at the uh, MIB Master Toy Museum. Because these books just didn't have the Vampirella stories in them. They had other fantastic mysteries and horror mysteries uh, deep inside these, these awesome books. I'm talking about a book from 1977. Um, the artwork can hold its own. As a matter of fact, I think the artwork was a lot better than a lot of our <clears throat> just standard comic books. A lot more work was put into these beautiful books. The black and white um, artwork was extremely appealing to me as a kid. I didn't mind that it didn't have color to them. I think, as a matter of fact, I think the color, adding color to these beautiful books would have did them did them a disservice what do you guys think I just wanted to cover some of these stories with you guys there's so many in them like so there's six stories and all I had a uh a fellow uh subscriber tell me that he freeze frames or he pauses the uh the video to actually read the comic book and I thought that was pretty cool. He said anytime I see the the Vampirella videos I, I watch it on our on his uh, he said he watches it on his big screen TV and he he pauses the video to read frame by frame he said because you get he said MIB you get such great close ups in your videos um, that you can actually see what they're saying the characters are saying and you can you can get a, a just a fantastic viewpoint of the artwork And I guess that looks pretty good if you have an 80 inch uh, big screen TV. I'm gonna have to try that, guys. But we just wanted to bring this to you today, guys. Your viewing pleasure. Take another look here. The Pharaoh's Lady. What a fantastic story. And I just, like I said, guys, I'll get a cup of coffee. Uh, get into my, on, on my couch. It's nice and quiet. Everyone sleep. And I can relax. And I'll crack open one of these books. And and it just trans literally transports me back to a much simpler time. When there was no, uh, you know smartphones or tablets video games anything like that just your imagination and these big beautiful horror comic magazines to help fuel that imagination and that was what being a kid in the 1970s was all about let's see let's see what happens to her Nothing good. I'd like to thank you guys for 
hanging out with us today here at 